in this session let's learn how to take a heart backup obviously if you are taking a heart backup we know the database should be in a archive log mode okay now let's review the steps needed to take a heart backup okay so the first step is we need to make sure the database is in a archive log mode okay query the database and find out if the database is in a archive log mode the second step is find the location of the data files the control files and other files as needed by querying the data dictionary tables okay that's the second step the third step is find out the current maximum sequence number from the online redo logs okay this is a very important step you need to find out the maximum sequence number from the online redo logs okay i will show this in the demo so don't get confused just for our purpose think the current maximum sequence number is 41 that's an example and then in the fourth step we put the database in the backup mode when we put the database in the backup mode all the table spaces in the database are put in the backup mode that means the oracle database will know that the database administrator is performing some kind of a backup okay and then in the fifth step we take the backup of all the data files using the operating system utility copy that's as simple as it is okay you just take the backup of only the data files okay and then in the sixth step you take the database out of the backup mode okay previously we put it in a backup mode in the sixth step we will take the database out of the backup mode and then in the seventh step we will trigger a checkpoint or we can say archive the current log file that means whatever the online redo log file being used by the database we are saying archive that log file okay and then in the eighth step we will back up the control file we are backing up the control file after we are archiving the current log file so that we have the latest system change number stored in the control file that is why we are backing up the control file in the step 8 rather than in the step 5 okay and then in the ninth step again we query the online redo log to find out the current maximum sequence number in step 3 when we check the current maximum sequence number we said it was 41 and when we query if we see 46 then we need to take the backup of all the archive logs generated during the backup that means you need to check all the sequence numbers generated between step 3 and step 9 and then take the backup of all the sequence numbers between those numbers okay here it is 41 and for our example here we took 46 so you need to take the backup of 41 42 43 44 45 that's all you need not take 46 just 41 to 45 okay these are the 10 steps which you need to follow whenever you are taking the hot backup okay now uh, let's go and check out the demo